tube post. Interesting travel vehicle. I'll try to blow through the pipe. Hmm, obviously someone lent his hand too, literally. The hand has a spasmatic grip around something. And what could that be? Let's try a little electric shock. I'll insert the key to the capsule. I'll place the capsule in the tube post. Maybe it would be more fun to blow away the papers in Omega. But am I really in the mood for that? Nothing happened. The tube post somehow doesn't seem to work. So, it's there. I've finally gone nuts. No wonder, since being dead is usually not very good for your mental health. Plain and simple, I see... Ladybirds. Welcome, Ghost in the Sheet. And what's even more funny, I can even hear their voices in my head. This is really serious. Welcome, Ghost in the Sheet. I wonder if I'm the very first case of afterworld madness, or if... Yes, sir? Uh, what? Finally, we thought from your monologue that you were going nuts. We've been observing you since you entered the factory, and we have to say that your progress is very good. We fear that he would bamboozle you. So tell me, who is my boss? It's a very long story. It's sufficient to say that he's been here much longer than anyone else on Earth. And also, he's totally responsible for you being here. That's quite obvious, since he sent me here. In this particular condition. What? Yes. It was he who arranged that they drove you over. I feared he was a bastard. But such a bastard. He's much worse than you can imagine. There's no more time for a long chit-chat. But we'd like to warn you against him. Hmm. Well, so... thanks? And we'll be watching over you. Many have succumbed to the temptation of power. We shall meet again soon. Let's see. Ah, 
I'd be so glad to say that Kurt has some disorder here, but I can't call such a mess disorder. It would have probably been called the first afterlife euphemism ever. A list of Omega customers. Let's see who buys Omega buckets. The fun ends here. Everybody's registered under a cryptic number code. What does it mean? IT Museum. Maybe Kurt wanted to implement some camera system once, but ended up with this Stone Age machine. It fits! This button is supposed to confirm the selection. So, let's try some password. There's something really strange in this office, but what the hell is it? Of course, he has not a single bucket inside. The plot thickens. The only thing you can tell the junk on the table is, clean yourself. Various orders which more or less try to speed up the production. What do we have here? Behold! Kurt was an artist as well. This is his masterpiece. It's obvious that the pipe and bucket object I found in the corridor isn't his creation, since it would contradict his art poetics. Dial for entering the numeric code. Handle opening the safe. Tape player, and there's a tape inside too. So tell me, my dear tape, what terrible secrets do you hide from me? Told you that I'm not taking any part in this. I found out what you're up to. Huh? Did you? Oh, think of it as a great opportunity for the both of us, Hansen. You can stick your opportunities up your ass. You don't even care about humans and what this all means for them. You know, tell me, my friend, who's interested in some afterlife? Tapes for kids and grannies. This is the best deal Omega ever had, and I'm not going to lose it at any cost. We shall see who will prevail. Interesting. So Kurt was blackmailing Hansen, and moreover Omega produces something which affects the afterlife. The puzzle starts to fit somehow. What's that? Hey, I have a new skill. Magical eavesdropping. When I activate it, it absorbs all the surrounding sound into some magical fluid in which in time materializes. I can use it once for a while and then I have to wait for the result. And another interesting thing is that I have to leave the room upon activation or it won't work. This looks like some really advanced skill, but a very useful one too. Empty pa Wait a minute, there's an 8- Uh-huh. You don't by any coincidence happen to know Kurt's safe combination? Well, my boy, this would only be known by Kurt, but I'll tell you something. I'm sitting here in the locker one day when all of a sudden I hear someone just outside the locker muttering something. And I swear that the voice sounded unpleasantly Kurtish. Kurt? So he's still alive? I don't think so. For example, I never heard the door squeaking sound which you make. So he would probably be a ghost like us. Another lucky afterlifer without a sheet. Any idea where I could find Kurt's ghost? I can't help you there. It was always too hard to reach. 
Catch you later. Come back to please an old fireman with a good chat, my boy. By a coincidence, you don't know a Kurt safe combination? Funny that you ask. Some time ago, I entered Kurt's office and nobody was there. I stepped up to his desk and realized that his safe was open. Of course, I was interested to see what was inside, so I approached it and knelt down. But then I heard a strange click and Kurt was standing right behind me. Not good. And what happened then? I had to make a lot of excuses, but somehow I managed. It wasn't pleasant at all. And the combination? Unfortunately, I haven't a clue about that. I found out that Kurt is present here as a ghost. Any ideas where to find him? Hmm, I'd say you could try some place where Kurt liked to be. As far as I know, he'd like to be in Hall B to oversee production. Maybe try Dirac. He might know more. Thank you. See you later. You don't by any chance know the combination to Kurt's safe. You mean the one he has in his office? Exactly. Then I can't help you. That combination was known only to Kurt. Dread. I've been told that Kurt is moving around like a ghost. Any idea where I can find him? It probably won't be of much help, but one of the workers complained that Kurt often stood on the catwalk, screaming at them to work faster. Excellent, thank you. You're welcome. See you later. I've activated the eavesdropper. I have to get out of here now. Surprised. I should have listened to Hansen. And now we have to this man of nicht den nur encode. Ah, this is a verrückt Mist here. I think it's 195134. Yeah, this is what it would be. Great. I have the feeling I have the combination to Kurt's safe. A mysterious door leads. Dial for entering the numeric code. Let's see. I'll try one nine five one three four. Great. Handle opening the safe.
and nothing. Aha, a cleverly disguised button. 